Uh, but uh, Spencer Pratt, good to have you on with us today. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be on with you. You are a true legend, a true American patriot, and my wife, Heidi, is also on the phone. Hello, how are you? Hey, Heidi, how you doing? I'm so excited to be on your show. God bless you. Thank you. You guys quit being too nice to me now. Let's just let's just sit here and talk about your awakening. I mean, I mean, why why are you now here on the show? I mean, we saw that you were talking about us, so we contacted you. But 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 I haven't seen a lot about you guys dealing with the new world order. Is this something you just woke up to, uh, Heidi and uh, Spencer? I mean, I just like everybody else on the earth, we've been too uh, caught up in ourselves and pop culture and things of no substance. And thank thank the Lord, Heidi's music producer Steve Morales, he uh, got us a, a copy of the Obama Deception and then Endgame, and then we watched. Uh, Masters of Terrors, then the 9-11 Chronicles, Matrix the Evil, Police State Trilogy, American Dictators. I mean, we, we watched, I mean, my head's going to explode with Alex Jones. Okay, so you've got your uh, wife, uh, Heidi, on with you as well. I uh, apologize, I'd forgotten that I'd seen you guys had gotten married. Uh, how long ago did you guys start researching this, uh, Heidi and Spencer? Um, I would say several months ago, but I've always been a big Christian, so I knew about the mark of the beast and, you know, the Antichrist and the end of the world, but I just never realized who it was. I always knew it would come, I felt like, in my time since I was a child, but this is a whole different awakening with facts and with what's really going on every day in the world. Well, I don't think the establishment's going to like you guys uh, waking up. I mean, you reach millions and millions of young people. Uh, literally, even older folks in my office know who you guys are, so I'm kind of embarrassed that uh, that I just now uh, discovered. But, I mean, all over pop magazines, TV, David Letterman, all these other shows, uh, maybe you can also explain to me, because I know about the New World Order and about the whole control grid, but also uh, maybe you can explain to me and others exactly what this phenomenon is of your type of celebrity as well so we can better understand how to reach out to these uh, young people so we've got uh, spencer pratt and uh, his uh, wife uh, heidi uh, uh, pratt on the line uh, with us so uh, we'll uh, go over all of that after this quick break and see i don't know why but the guys are laughing in the control room when they start laughing it makes me laugh and that makes me smile because i don't know why this is this is so entertaining to them but uh, it's great to have you guys with us. Stay with us after the break. Finally in the news this evening, it's being reported that cyber spies from Russia and China have now penetrated our power grid. Even as energy experts are reporting that each summer we get closer and closer to the limits of our nation's power grid, some say that this summer's demand for electrical power may finally push the grid over its edge, creating a cascade of power outages across the country, putting us all in the dark. Are you prepared for the next round of storm-related outages or government-created blackouts? Have you ever thought about taking steps to get off the grid and generate your own private supply of electrical power? If so, this will be the most important information you have ever heard. Solar power generators are finally available. They have no moving parts to wear out or break and require absolutely no gas whatsoever. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun. So go to MySolarBackup.com. That's MySolarBackup.com. Check out MySolarBackup.com before you lose your power. Spencer Pratt and Heidi Montag Pratt, actors from the hills on MTV and a bunch of other reality TV shows, are on with us. And again, the reason I'm doing this is everybody keeps talking about Twitter for the last year. As, as folks know, the, the revolution in Iran, the CIA was pumping through the State Department through Twitter. Uh, that, that's even mainstream news. And so we started getting all these calls and thousands of Twitter messages about Miley Cyrus, the, the Billy Ray Cyrus's daughter that plays Hannah Montana, which of course everybody knows is this giant icon now with little girls and, and, and teenagers uh, out there. That uh, Spencer Pratt and uh, Heidi Montag were sitting there uh, twittering her, and she's saying, "What's Infowars?" And so then that gets all these young girls and teenagers to go look at InfoWars.com. So that's great. This is exactly who we want to reach. We want these kids at least to stop drinking sodium fluoride that gives them bone cancer, dental fluorosis, and brain damage, and calcifies every major organ and causes pancreatic cancer and diabetes. You can Google each one of those terms and get mainstream news admitting that. 
we want girls to know that a lot of these uh, birth control uh, drugs actually sterilize them. We want women to know the UN's been caught adding sterilization hormones to tetanus shots. We want to reach young women, especially who are targeted by the globalist. And uh, so this is kind of an in run in the back door of the uh, cultural mind control system to have somebody like Spencer Pratt and Heidi Montag Pratt uh, on with us because the system is using these type of young icons to keep people in the matrix. To have them breaking out of the matrix is a big deal. So I'm going to try to shut up for a few minutes and let Spencer Pratt and Heidi Montag. Uh, uh, husband and wife, talk about your awakening to the New World Order, the films, and now what you want to say in your message that has been followed by young people, uh, where you're going with this information that you've now discovered. Uh, well, like I said, you know, it's a, it's a recent awakening. I really do feel like we took the, the blue pill or whatever in Matrix, and I feel like you really did pull that little mechanical thing out of the back of my brain because... Uh, Heidi and I have both, or uh, as I should say, Spidey, have, have led to the situation we are at at this planet where, you know, there's so much attention and focus on so many of the wrong issues, like, for instance, ourselves. Like, how are, people, how are we so famous when, you know, the climate bill is not even a trending topic on Twitter? For the last three days, I've just kept on asking everybody as my followers, how is this not a trending topic? We got everything from Michael Jackson to... You know, Jamie Foxx was a t trending topic. Oh, we even had Iran was a trending topic, but nothing about, you know, the biggest bill, you know, since the Patriot Act getting passed with nobody reading it. And the people who do want to read it, they're saying you can't even read it. And they're not even giving anybody time, and they're changing the name of the bill. And, I mean, it's just it's mind-boggling that they're trying to say there's global warming right now and, you know, that the ice caps are melting and the polar bears are going to drown. We all know, we've all seen footage of the polar bears swimming to new pieces of ice, and we all know that, uh, or at least anybody who does their research, thanks to Alex Jones, knows that it was the coldest winter in years in Antarctica. Was it 30% more ice? Uh, yeah, almost, almost 40%. It got, it got larger and thicker. So, I mean, it's just shocking to me. And, and after I watched your DVDs, and, you know, it's, it's, this isn't conspiracy theories. These are factual evidence. It's just stuff that the mainstream media does not present to the public. You don't see, you know, I didn't learn any of this. I went to USC for eight years. I, I, this is the craziest thing. Ready for this? My best friend since kindergarten is a 180 IQ, brilliant mathematician, genius. He, he, you know, he got top of his class, USC, Marshall School of Business. You know, he's a big-time investment banker. I called him the other day. I said, real quick, I said, Brian, serious question. I, do you know the Federal Reserve? Is, is a private company, and it's not federal, it's, it's, as, it's as federal as Federal Express. And he goes, what are you talking about? He goes, yes, it is. And I, I'm arguing here with my genius, genius friend who lives and breathes business and everything, and he is shocked like I just told him, you know, I don't even know what I told him. He was so just shocked and blown away by the fact that he couldn't believe that the Federal Reserve, that he, you know, he's been to business school, and he doesn't even know this. And, and, I, and I mean, I felt dirty. I almost threw up that I had to tell my friend who's an investment banker who works for a major firm that the Federal Reserve is not, is not a, you know, an American part of the, the government, you know? Incredible. So we also want to get uh, Heidi to pop in here. When did you first start waking up? You said one of your managers or one of Heidi's managers uh, gave you the Obama deception? Steve Morales is a music producer of mine, and we were in the studio one night, and he was watching us, and he said, you guys need to watch this. You need to know you're the youth of America. You need to know what's going on in America. You need to know what's going on in this world. And I've always oh, been, dumb. he's, yeah, I call us dumb heads <laughs> that we didn't know. So we started watching this, and then Spencer ordered every single DVD, and has been nonstop researching your websites and the Internet and everything now for uh, at least a month, all day, every day. So we've just been trying to figure out the truth. And I've always been a very big Christian. So I've always known, you know, the mark of the beast and the Antichrist and Jesus coming back. So to me, it all makes sense. It's not a foreign concept. And especially now that they're trying to do the chip, I, you will have to kill me before I get a chip. That would never happen. The fact that people are even already okay with this is sickening. I could throw up right now. A chip? Are we dogs? Dogs don't even deserve chips. 
Well, absolutely. In fact, ha have you guys seen all the newscasts saying we all need chips, old people need them, prisoners, the troops, a lot of them have been secretly chipped. The Mexican Attorney General made his employees take chips, and now to get in the cool clubs in Europe and the U.S., they want you to take a chip. Uh, and, and they've got federal officials going around telling people we only need to take chips. And the churches aren't saying anything because they've been 501c3 uh, federalized. And, and you have the clergy response teams where FEMA has secretly federalized the churches. I mean, this is, this is very serious.